Each spring, thousands of high school students look forward to prom night. It used to be the dinner and dance were the big thing. But these days, lots of students say it's the after prom they look forward to. We met up with the parents of some Pomona high school students to find out why. It's a midwinter school night and students have cleared the halls of Pomona High School, but their parents have moved in. With a labor of love designed to give their kids good times and good memories and keep them off the streets and safe on prom night. After prom is a party that the kids get to go to after the dance. Um, some of the kids actually just come to the after prom. Find another tube that makes that tree go longer, then we can move this down. With months of careful planning, decorations will cover the halls of Pomona from ceiling to floor on after prom night. This is what they use for trick or treat street and I stole them. We start planning in um, probably September and October time frame. We meet and try and come up with a, a theme. This year uh, we've got the theme of a party of seven. There's no shortage of ideas. The entrance hall where kids register will be a 007 theme. We will um, do Apollo 7 here. We've got a group that's uh, building the spaceship. Down the hall, a Seven Dwarfs theme where ping pong and pool tables and miniature golf will entertain students. Parents meet a couple nights a week at the school to plan their decorations and activities. One of the most popular rooms each year is the casino. But here in our senior commons and all the way back, this is our casino area. Marta Reed says after prom is a great, safe alternative where all students can feel comfortable. We try not to have a romantic theme. We try to have a fun theme. And so it's a party for all the juniors and the seniors. You don't have to go to the prom. You don't have to have a date. You don't have to have money. You, you don't have to dress up. You just get to come and have fun with your classmates with um, you know, no pressure. About 40 or 50 parents work on after prom throughout the year. But the night before the after prom, watch out. The army of volunteer parents has grown to over 100, and they are on a mission to install decorations on a deadline. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's good. The Friday night before, um, as soon as school is out, at about 3 o'clock, you hear on the PA system, all students have to be out of here. And then we just start decorating. We usually decorate until about 10 o'clock that night. We bring in um, one of the community restaurants, donates food, and we bring in food for all of our people that are there to decorate. And we have a core group of people that decorate from January till then, but then we have over 100 that will come Friday night and help decorate. We come back Saturday morning, put up the final touches, and then we have our open house Saturday night before the after prom. About 11 o'clock Saturday night, following the dance, students begin arriving for a night of fun. How are you doing today? Perfect. Have a good time. Okay? I think some of them are just in awe. They can't even believe it's the school that they see during the daytime. I think it's a blast. It's, it's really fun to watch the kids during the night. We kind of try to stay in the background because the party's about them and not about us. But just watching them have a really good time, watching them um, interact with their, their peers and do the games and be in the gym and in the casino. Um, some of them are dead tired by the time 3, 30, 4 o'clock comes around, but they won't leave because they want to see if they're going to get the big prize. It's just fun to watch them. They can leave whenever they want to, but once they have left, they cannot come back in. Um, and then we're done at 4, and then at about 4.30, we really start cleaning up, and it's clean up until about 7 o'clock in the morning, and everything that it took us about 10 hours to put up is back down. And it's a school again. Putting on a party like this costs about five to ten thousand dollars. Parents do fundraisers and gratefully accept donations from the community, merchants, and city hall. It's so sad to take it down because we've worked so hard to put it up and it comes down really a whole lot quicker than it goes up. 